What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Man Card Podcast, where we like to start off the podcast with the quote of the week. Noah, hit me. We have the meats. Little Dicky. Hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Today is a very special episode. We have not my best friend, but my best friend, your best friend, Noah's best friend, yeah. the homie from the past. Yeah. So this is Evans Elliot. Well, hello. Evans plural, not Evan. Yes. Evans plural. Big confusion. Yeah. yeah. It, it's actually funny because we had our wedding invites done up by a friend of ours, and we had on there Evans e- Elliot, right, with an and S. They got it wrong. And they, he, she took the liberty and dropped the S. And I was like... Every time. She's like, this guy, who does he think he is being more than one person? I now, know. you want to go another level. Evans is, apostrophe, <laughs> oh, yeah. good luck with shoot. that one. Is what it do you two do? S's? Is it one S? Which is it? It's one S with an apostrophe, I don't know. right? I still haven't learned. I don't know. <laughs> oh. You don't even know Hold your up. own name. I think, it's, I think it's one S. Okay. We'll just know. go We're going to go with one S. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with one S. But yeah, this is Evans Elliott. This is actually uh, my best friend who I grew up with from, when was that? Was that fourth it grade? It started with Miss DiPolito's presidential, uh, president class. Yes. Yeah, we had a home school. So we were both homeschooled for, was it fourth and fifth grade? Or you were homeschooled before that? That makes no, a lot of sense. Uh, I was, no, no, I was homeschooled for fourth and fifth. Okay, yeah. So we were both. But you, home- didn't, you didn't do Timothy, right? No. The one where you went once a week. Oh, or yeah, 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 yeah. Or Veritas? I think it was Veritas. Veritas. Yeah, or, yeah. No, actually, there were two. There were two. Yeah. Y'all anyway. got to explain that more because I'm so, lost. Yeah, so our, our, the, people, yeah. the people that are here don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, so homeschool uh, is, you could do strict homeschool where it's like you're at home every day. And be in school. That makes and, sense. And do homeschool. school. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. But there's the other half of it where, like, my sister did this for high school. Um, it's like a hybrid. So you do like homeschool for three days a week and you go into this like school plays for two days a week. Um, and it's like they switch, you know, yeah. which days kids are coming into school. So we, we did that and we were homeschooled, but yeah. on the side, we did this president's class with uh, a mutual family friend. It was so much fun. It was great. We basically learned about, you know, American history and the president's. And by the end of it, now we can say all the presidents in order from start to finish. Yeah, the whole class was just learning that. Actually. Really? It was yeah. just can learning. You still, can you still do that, though? War. Yep, we can. Ready? Washington, Washington Adams, Jefferson, okay, it's a song. Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler Polk, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, and Trump, and Biden. Biden. Wow. Obviously, that song was yes, made yeah. back <laughs> made. when Obama was president. <laughs> yeah, wow. no, actually, it was made. Or no, it was, it was when Bush was president. Was That's Bush rather was impressive. President. Yeah. So, so we had to add Obama, and now it just goes off the rails. Yeah. Now yeah. we got to make a new tune. Yeah, there's got to be a new song. Which is what today's episode is about. <laughs> yeah. So we are actually going through all the presidents now. <laughs> but yeah, so we grew up together. We did homeschool. So that's when we like first became friends. Like, yeah, like hang, hang out. Like, I guess we, our families knew each other before that point, but we had yeah. never hung Didn't out. Didn't you live in this neighborhood or close? No. So I live, so I've, I've been in the same house. Like I grew up in the same house. And my parents still live there. It's literally. Wait, you haven't moved out yet? Dude, what yeah. a, what a loser. Yeah, I'm still there. <laughs> no, uh, it's, what is it? How would you say it? It's, it's like based... a three minute drive away. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like straight Two down minutes. the road it's like through a neighborhood straight across like a three minute drive 15 minute walk yeah 30 yeah. Minute i would crawl. say street names but i don't think the viewers it's maybe about an eight that. minute bike ride because we gotcha. we used to bike ride to each other's house oh all the time either our each other's house or the quick trip which is a local gas station tell me y'all didn't feel like badasses when y'all did that for oh, the first time we were badasses. Oh, Sam. Yeah. what are you talking about feeling like badasses <laughs> no, me and great. my friends did the same thing we would ride oh down gosh. to a he gas had a station Ferrari we were... bicycle okay? oh my gosh, <laughs> it's funny my dad gave me his old bike and my dad's a fun like improvement kind of guy mm-hmm. and so he put he he had oh leftover God. ferrari stickers from like i don't know what <laughs> 
So we put him on the bicycle, and I rode over to to Evans's house, and oh. I show up, and Evans doesn't say anything. Like, and this kid's years, rich as shit. Right. Damn. So for years and years, Evans thinks that I have I always owned a Ferrari bicycle, and then only yeah. did it come out later that, oh no, like that there was never actually a thing. Was, well. There you, is no such thing as a well, Ferrari bicycle. Well, that's, that's true. If there is, I would never. I literally went it. for years thinking that there was a Ferrari bicycle, and, the <laughs> only, and I was like, "This man has got it, like Excelsior Plus over here." Yeah, the only the but, only way you knew that it was not a Ferrari bicycle was, and this it, we'll just launch into our first story. This is kind of the oh. the whole thing about the podcast. We're just doing stories today. So the first story is when Evans found out that was not a Ferrari bicycle. So I had ridden and over realized you were broke as shit. Yes, yeah. He very all quickly right. found out that that bike was not actually all that it was cracked up to be. <clears throat> so I rode over to his house, and this was like we were older, like at this point, like we were in high school, and we yeah, we, we were cusping. Yeah, so we were cusping into where we were like starting to get our learner's permit and like leave the bikes behind. Mm-hmm. So this was one of the last like bike experiences that we got to have with each other. So. Oh, that sounded weird. Yeah, that did sound weird. This is one of the last bike outings we got to have. And so I, I rode over to his house, and, and Evans was, like, over bikes. Like, he was like, I don't want to ride bikes anymore. Well, um, but I just keep getting... Obviously, I'm the peak of physical shape. <laughs> so biking is just Well, no, you are. That's the me. thing. You, you look great now. Back then, imagine this dude, True, like... True, I do. I, he I was, lost some pounds. He was a We were looking at pictures last oh, night. Oh, my gosh. And it was... It was awesome. Tubby. I mean, it threw me back because that's that's Tubby. who I fell in love with as a best friend. You know what I mean? And so yeah, he didn't love me anymore. I'm not I know it's, anymore. it's unfortunate. Uh, this is a by the way, this is a farewell episode. We're no longer friends. <laughs> yeah. Up um, yeah. Now he's engaged to a girl. I know a girl. Ugh. My girl. chances is my chance is gone. I know. Unfortunate. No, okay. he hasn't said I do yet. A lot True. of things happen. Whenever the day. whenever the preacher or officiator says object, yeah, my hands going, going up. up. I'll, I'll go I up with object. you. Uh, I got your back. Okay. Because I don't like this either. Oh, yeah, good to know. Ellie's got competition on multiple fronts, so that makes me a little nervous. Um, But, or actually, it makes me excited, because y'all want me. (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) So I rode over, and Evans was like, didn't want to ride over to QT, right? He was like, my bike's got a flat or something. local gas station. Yeah, and so... So he was like, can I ride, just ride your bike. Can I ride you? Just like, for fun. To the, to, <laughs> yeah. And I said, QT. absolutely, senor. And I pulled my pants down in the driveway. No. <laughs> Hop so, in the basket. So he, he took the bike and he, there, he, at that point they had the property next to them. They had like their dad, uh, like a split ownership between whatever. Yeah. Not worth going into. And so there was a drive, the second driveway into like some wooded area. And the wooded area had like a path through it where they would like take like a, a what is it four wheeler or like yeah bikes or whatever drive. it was just like a literally the tiniest dirt path you could imagine right like 20 feet is what it was okay yeah, it was like 20 feet long and maybe like five seven feet wide mm-hmm. and so so evan takes his bike and he's like i'm gonna get some speed dude i'm gonna go through this i'm gonna go through this forest i'm like great so basically it's this little creek for those of you who can't see it i mean like not this little creek this little trail with like you know trees in the background and then it had like a little left curve and on the left curve was a little mound that you so couldn't see course, until you were on it. So of course, you know, my mind is like, Oh, a mound, a ramp. I can get air. <laughs> and especially on a Ferrari bicycle, I can get some <laughs> serious air. So he, he literally, and you know, of course, like we've already established this guy wasn't, you know, a spring chicken. He was like, you know, had some weight. So he st- when he started moving, the just mo- say I didn't get near. <laughs> the momentum, the momentum was f- all forward momentum, mm-hmm. right? And so this, you dude, you hit, you hit the dirt, mm. and like within two seconds of you hitting the dirt, it was like, hit dirt. I'm doing great. Tip, tip, and just smacks on the ground, like fully, like lays his face down into the dirt. Mm. And of course, like being the best friend that I am, I don't care how your well-being is i'm just laughing yeah. my ass oh, off like it is so that's funny that's your role that's what it yeah. should be I, if i if i, I deserve to be if you cared you're not best bad. friends yeah if i'd come in and be like are you okay i would have been like you've been like, oh, like yo bro get off me yeah like, you what didn't the make the cut come on yeah. gross but that that and then what happened is he he hit it so hard right with that with a four momentum that i was like oh it's fine like you just fell off we yeah. pick up the bike the front forks of the bike are bent and the wheel so was, is like yeah. Twisted. Oh, you were like, oh boy, I just the Ferrari. Like my parents are gonna oh, have to sell their house. I was house. like, yeah, I was like, I need to work for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, I gotta pay you back for this bike. I'm a slave now. And so I was like, dude, don't even worry about it. And so you know, we'll go into this a little later, but this is a little teaser. 
every year we go out of our way to surprise each other for each other's birthday, um, which I'm sure that will be one of Evans' stories. And for this for this year or that year that he broke the bike, I kept the bent forks from the bike. <laughs> That my my dad fixed it and we and we gave Evans the bike because we were like you need to have this bike so we fixed it and we kept the bent forks and so later that year I used the bent forks of the bicycle as like a gift as a present for him yeah. to remind him of his of his shittery in the woods it was it was great yeah that was definitely let's just say I haven't been on a bike since no I really don't think really? I have I think I might have been on one bike since then not even like a stationary bike. I don't work out, so <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That was is. the perfect response. <laughs> that's the, Honestly, you yeah. said stationary bike, and I was like, what is that? And then it connected to my mind. I was like, oh, that's for Oh, exercise. that's for the people who go to places called gyms. Yeah, no. whatever that is. Well, that, that, I, th- I feel like that that was the perfect story to just encapsulate our friendship of just like, it's just a very happy-go-lucky friendship. Because like, oh, yeah. you're, you're a very easygoing person, and I'm much more. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, dude. <laughs> I'm much more type A and controlling and uh, uptight. Uh, I don't, don't all disagree. <laughs> Golly. Uh, I mean, you said it, not us. Yeah, right. You said yeah. it, not okay, us. Okay, I'll throw it to you. What, what's a story that you have? Well, there's another bike story. Oh, is it? Too. Oh, yeah. The first bike story, This is actually. the first bike story. So this yeah. is when we actually biked a lot. So this is probably middle school or elementary yeah. school. Mm-hmm. And there's a... Yeah. Right by our high school, Roswell High School, there was... Best Burger Place, Ray's. I'll give them a shout out. Yep, Ray's. It's Ray's the, Best Burger in Roswell. It's Ray's the third, actually. Yeah, I, so, excuse me. Yeah, Ray's the third. Yeah. So we used to bike to Ray's. And we were biking one time, and we were just like, uh, we were near that, that cul-de-sac right outside of the Roswell High School. Yeah, so like there's this church and a cemetery, and behind the cemetery is this like like shoot-off road in, that ends in a cul-de-sac that bunts yeah. up to this cemetery where you can cut through to the school. Okay. So basically, we're riding through, and it, there's a part that goes like we're driving on the street, and then it transitions into sidewalks, so we have to get like on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so somewhere going to the sidewalk from the street, I don't know. I was, just I was, ahead, I was ahead of him, so I didn't, I couldn't even see this happen. Like it wasn't like there was nothing in the road. Like I didn't hit anything. There was nothing in the sidewalk. There side was walk? nothing. It was just me again. I guess I just have a problem with bikes. <laughs> But it wasn't a Ferrari bike. Is what no, it was. luckily. Luckily it was not. Yeah, it was a crappy Honda bike. But <laughs> anyway, I basically just ate absolute shit. Yeah, well, that's the thing. And is- went head first and then somehow, like, was playing Twister with the bike. Like, I turned around. Where you had to come over and, like, pry me to, like, away from the I had to, separate parts of... I didn't know where the bike started and you ended. Like, it was just, like, so tangled. Yeah. And it wasn't, like disastrous or anything like you weren't like break anything i still have two scars though on my yeah knee. so he ripped both of his knees open and we were we were going to what was it and that was the last time i was on my knees yeah right <laughs> seriously and let's just say that's not all that the scars are from um <laughs> but we were on our way was it to Ray's? i thought it was to arby's either it was either Ray's arby's or hell outback because either well i'll back out i'll show you Plug Outback. Sponsor. Yes. Not Let me sponsored. just say that. We were like middle schoolers going to Outback. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, yeah, we were we were high class. Okay, those yeah. blooming onions. This is when I was trying to propose to him. But ah, it just wasn't. didn't work out. He would have placed it right. You should have busted your knee open. Yep. Because you couldn't get down on it. Yeah, that That's my fault, 100%. But we, if we were going to raise, we, we took an alternate route and went to Arby's. Yes. Because I think we wanted to try their milkshake. And we, we ended up going. First of all, their milkshake's garbage. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I don't know if they changed it since then, but don't go back to whenever, you know, we were in like ninth, eighth grade. Do not go back then. Their milkshake's garbage. Arby's is nasty. Got it. No, no. No, no, that's not true. The milkshake's garbage. Arby's is amazing. Not a fan of Arby's. Oh my gosh. The curly fries is about it. Dude, 2 to to 5 p.m., $1 sliders. Tastes like $1 sliders. Dude, do you you like jalapenos? No, I do not like jalapenos. Okay, so this is jalapeno poppers. Anyway. I'm sorry. We've just... Sorry, the connection's Mitchell, just you, gone. You, you are, our new sponsor, sorry. Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Back that money truck up, boys. Back it up, back it up. Yeah. Yep. But, but we went, and he literally, we got there, and we just like grabbed a handful of napkins and like smacked napkins onto his knee to make sure he stopped bleeding. Which, let me tell you, mistake, because you got to take the napkin off eventually. Yep. Yeah. And it's going to take some skin with it. <laughs> or or, or leave some yeah or leave some napkin on there. 
Yeah, it was quite gross. And yeah. then, so we ate. We still ate because mm. we're not going to just like get there and not get the prize. Yeah. You know, this was our this no, was I our quest. It. Yeah, I earned that Arby's. Oh, hundred percent. Let me tell you. So then we get back home because we called. Of course, we're young enough to like still call our parents because we're like we, yeah. we busted our knee and they're like uh, I don't know just like. <laughs> Deal with it. Deal with yeah, it. Yeah, they were like, "We taught you." Like, right. Why are you calling us? Like, you're. It's like, come it's like, home. Are you, I don't know. Are you dead? No. Okay. All right. Shut okay. up. Bye. Hey, have you have you tried sitting on the pot? <laughs> yeah. Hey, just, it always works. Yeah. Hey, bro, did you break your arm? Nah. Sit on the pot. Sit on the pot. Hundred percent. But we got home and his dad was waiting for us because obviously we had called. I guess mm. your mom. I don't know why. And and we got home and he was like hey guys guys come here come here and this is, we were pretty gullible at this stage we you still, slapped your knee we still are i was gonna say i still am. <laughs> yeah right and so he was you know he was like come over come over i got something to show you i, I found you guys online and we were like no way because we at that time we were starting making youtube videos and i was like oh my gosh what happened and so he, he, he calls us over so he calls us over to the old old computer and he presses play, and it's Evil Knievel going off a jump. <laughs> and then it's just him, like, like, bouncing everywhere, you know? Uh, oh, man. And, uh, yeah, I had my Evil Knievel days. That was... That but was I'm retired a good now. one. Well, I'm retired. For now. Yeah, you based now, on now the you rate, got a, though. I got a big truck that you can Evil Knievel with. Yeah. Dang right. Now, you can, now say, you can actually For die. the amount of money, I might, you know, go back... What do you call it? Go out of retirement? Unretire? Unretire? Is that a thing? That mean? Yeah, just go, just not come out of retirement. Come out of retirement. Come out of retirement. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like come out of the closet. Like come out of. The exactly. Life. I'm gonna come out of the retirement closet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. So okay. I just left my. I kind I kind of want. I want to hear this whole. You, you mentioned it before. I want to hear this movie story because that's what oh. I've been looking for. Because <laughs> yeah. I know stories. I know some of the people. I can okay. relate. So this was, uh, we were okay. So. W- Backstory: Evans and I both love cigars. Mm. Evans turned me on to cigars. That's a that's you, back that's, that's another good too. story, dude. Okay, so sorry to to backstory all of this is when I was first introduced by this man to cigars. Do we want to tell the actual introduction or the the better? Secondary? I say we stick with the story, we're gonna, and then we'll we'll backtrack. So we'll stick. Okay, with okay, the, okay. The so first you, one. all right, you you lead it off then. Basically, the first one was. Is it even worth saying? No, the first one's stupid. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with another one. This is when you first got introduced to cigars. This was this was like probably my second second cigar. Okay. Yeah, second Ever. cigar. And what? How old were we? We were probably yeah, probably ninth. Middle th- school, high school, eighth, ninth, high school. tenth grade. Yeah, eighth, ninth, tenth grade. And um, we were outside, so my house has like a back porch on it. And so we had the TV set up for a while on the back porch so we could roll out. Oh, this is not a flat screen, by the way. This is like one of the oh, big old yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm talking oh, yeah. like we had its own separate cart. Like it was like <laughs> at school where you roll the cart out. It was like those TVs, but times four. Yeah. yeah. And so we were outside watching. You remember the movie? Yeah, it was uh, Count of Monte Cristo. Never seen it. Oh, you that got will what? have to change. You know what? Okay, I don't know what you're doing tonight, but it looks like <laughs> Yeah. But anyway... It, the the movie was starting, and you were having your first cigar, so we gave it, it to well, you. It wasn't just any cigar. It was a Churchill cigar. So if you know anything about cigars, this cigar is, like, really long. Um, so it takes a long time to smoke. Okay. And so yes. I, I was, at that moment, not in the mood. So I was about to just pocket it and yeah. not smoke it. And they gave me so much shit for it. They were like, yeah. no, if we give you a cigar, you got to smoke it. You can't just walk away yeah, with the no, cigar we give you. you. If somebody yeah. gives you a cigar, agree. you don't put it in your pocket. I agree. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah. You smoke that cigar with us. Like, and of course, like since then, I've grown into you know a young man that I am today. And and back then, I was just a, a young whippersnapper. I, I didn't know what yeah, I was you doing. You want a cigar? Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> sure. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. This Can I get later. another? Yeah, do you have another one? But anyway, we started the movie... We started our cigars, and it was me and Jack Hagler out yeah. there. Mm-hmm. And I just yep. start yelling. You did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> no, you, you, hey, stick to we it. We started. We started. No, no. <laughs> so basically, we started the movie. We started our cigars, and me and Jack, who I'm, you know, it was a good family friend, were sitting there smoking ours, and probably. 20 no, 25 nope, minutes into nope. the movie 15 <laughs> okay it was like 15 20 minutes into the movie max. we just see noah like turn around and he's got like a little nub and he just like flicks it out and he's like yeah i'm done and we're like you know maybe a quarter of the way through like smoking it like you should smoke a cigar and we're both like 
Well, okay. So at first, I this I man turned, sucked it down. Like he, he just, sucked it I, down. I chimneyed the crap out of it. And yeah. like we, it was one of those where we were like, "What?" Because they they got pissed. <laughs> like, we they were, got pissed again because they thought that I that I didn't smoke it and like had pocketed it. Because like, they were like, <laughs> he cut it in half. He's like, I'm gonna say half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were like, he just wanted to say Can I get something. a to-go box for this? <laughs> So they were like, yeah, dude, come on. You can't just, you got to smoke it. And I was like, no, I, I just smoked it. Like, it's done. And I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Amber alert, Amber alert. Amber alert, phone call. Dude, we get so that's many what we, That's what we got last time. Yeah, Amber alerts are like just Pain going crazy bars. right now. I don't know, whoever's on the buttons. Just like, I need to let you know that this white van is coming towards you. Um, but yeah, and so I, I piped it down. And so they were like, dude, what the heck? Did you just pocket the cigar? And so, and I said, no. Like, of course. I was like, no, I just smoked it. And then not maybe like three minutes later, y'all mm. look over and what do you mm. see? Oh, <laughs> I mean, he knocked is out. out dude. And this, you know, it was like probably eight eight thirty p.m. Yeah. Now is that what happens when you smoke a cigar? You get tired? No. Okay, you just. It's open. not usually. No. But however, it was his first time. It was a Churchill cigar, so it was about you know like this long. Jesus. And yeah. it was a Maduro, so it was a dark one. Very dark. So, so it's a, let's just say you started you you. Did me dirty on some of those first cigars. Yeah, because he's we, a, he's we a very dirty. dark cigar kind of person, and I'm, I'm. It's like it's like giving somebody a shot of tequila for their first drink, of which was my first drink. Mm. A shot of tequila. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> you start out the wrong way, then I guess. I had terrible friends. Let's just say this. <laughs> so yeah, so I fell asleep, and then I woke up, and then of course, like when you're asleep, you don't. There's no concept of time. So I wake up, and I and I pull my head off the pillow, and it's the damn credits. Just rolling up through the screen, and I was like, "Oh man!" And it's such a good movie. It's such a good like, movie. Like we were pissed at him again after that. Yeah, it was like a three round burst. And then, well, and then what what was put salt in the wound was that I was I was no longer tired, and so then they <laughs> and they were, and so they were yeah. like, "Dude, we're done, man. Like it's late. Yeah. Like let's go." And I'm like, "No, dude, let's like watch another movie." You're like, "Let's let's watch another movie." Yeah, something. I would have looked at him like, "Nah, screw you, bro. No, <laughs> yeah. that ain't, that ain't happening." I was like, "I am tired. I'm going." Like I w- not only did I waste a cigar on you, but you didn't even watch the stupid movie we we're gonna watch. It's uh, like, oh my and gosh. what? Like eight years later. Yeah, like, avid cigar fans. So avid cigar fans. It worked. Okay, so how does this lead into the movie? Okay, so the movie that, that scene began our cigar portion of our relationship. Yeah. So this leads into the the movie combined with cigar part of the relationship, which is where Holden Fincher and Brett Whitley come in. You know both. Yeah, they small, were, people are in a small group. Of yeah, people. so they were in our small group at church, and I well, I wanted to have a movie night, and those were the I guess the only two guys that could come mm-hmm. from the group for some reason, which is ironically they're the least accessible of all of the guys in the group. Yeah. I don't know why. And then, of course, Evans, he just lives nearby. So he's like, yes, come by for sure. Okay, so the movie was here. It's not a movie theater. It's no, here. the movie okay. was here. Even though you have a theater, technically. Yeah. Well, no. But yes. Small flex. Small flex. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just an at-home movie theater. And so we were here, and you know, we, we were going to watch Hateful Eight, right? And so the Hateful Eight, how you're and, – and Brett, he's just like a, I don't know, a savant when it comes to like experiencing things or whatever. Mm. And so he was like, you got to watch it the right way. Oh, dude. I feel like Brett was just born to be a frat guy. Was oh. born to be a frat dude. No, he's... Yeah, that's no, no. He was born a frat dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So we, they both came over and they're both really artsy I think people. he came out of the womb with like a six pack of Natty <laughs> yeah, Light yeah. with his hat to the side yeah, and, and a, a can of Copenhagen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, okay. Before we run out of time, let's take a quick break. And right after the break, we'll continue this wonderful story. See you in the halftime show. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the mini episode inside of the main episode, which is the Man Card Halftime Show. You mean a Manny episode? A Manny episode? That sounds like a Manny Petty. <laughs> yeah, it does. Just a little bit. But we are here today with a special guest, my best friend, Evans Elliott. Sorry, don't mean to put you down in the dirt. Um, but we are here to tell you about the Man Card sponsor of this episode Man, man Card. Card podcast, podcast. Uh, we were trying this too hard on the same time dot com dot com beat you mancarpodcast.com yeah so mancarpodcast.com we've got all of our new episodes on there we've got a link to our youtube on there we've got you can you can support the the show if you want please support the show please dear lord we're, uh, po- we're poor like, evans didn't even know we had a show until today more, yeah evans was like you guys have a show like, wait y'all have a show 
<laughs> what are we doing here? Wait, well, I thought Wait, we were I just talking a, into the mic. I thought this was a Twitch stream. Yeah, is this not like live or something? Yeah. He was like, I thought I was getting paid. Yeah, I was like, what? Sorry, brother, you're not getting paid. And uh, neither this is we. brought to you by, yeah, neither are we. <laughs> this is brought to you by mancarpodcast.com. Go check it out. Send us messages, send us emails. We want to hear from you. And I will send you right back to the main episode. Enjoy. All right, welcome back to the main part of the show here, uh, where we are once again joined with Evans Elliott, uh, and we're actually going to jump back into the story we ended with before the little break, which is our uh, movie experience with Holden Fincher and Brett Whitley. Uh, it was here at my house. We had them meet us here. Uh, we were going to watch The Hateful Eight, mm. um, and really the point of the story is just like the kind of the inspiration for the whole thing, because Brett is, is kind of... Uh, this was the starting... The yeah. starting point for a podcast idea, wasn't it? It was. So yeah, this is this is where. Thank you. That kind of legitimizes the story a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, it does. I just pulled that out. No, it's true, but no, I it pulled it out of my ass. Yeah. So lie. he came over with the initial concept of us watching halfway through to the intermission because I don't know if you know the Hateful Eight went on a road show, and it was it was uh, shown in in parts. So it was done in a first act. Oh, I'm sorry, a first act intermission second act interesting right so you're supposed to watch it with you know a break in the middle where you can kind of debrief your thoughts your theories your you know first takes on the half of the half of the movie and you go back in and you're able to experience that kind of like oh man i was so off oh my gosh he was so right or she was so in it like all of it kind of comes together you know bolsters that movie watching yeah. experience which i would recommend especially for tarantino i mean oh my gosh yes very very just because his are like a play already oh literally yeah it's just in one one room for the whole yeah for the whole movie so yeah definitely would recommend for that movie specifically but we were there and so you know obviously brett was like insisted on us having a you know intermission so we we're like okay let's have an intermission so we went back to my back porch grabbed some stogies you know and and smoked some cigars and while we were doing that, we were like, you know what? This would actually be a good like show idea, of like, you know. Oh, because the original the original idea was a movie podcast, yeah. movie review podcast. Exactly. And then you, asked, I think we talked about. It, and I was like, dude, I don't, I haven't seen enough movies. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like, I love movies a ton, but that's the thing about the movie watching community is that it's a very brutal community. Mm-hmm. So like, if you get one thing wrong, they're like, you suck you're a fake fan and all this stuff. And I'm like, ah, that's why my uncle, he actually has a movie watching podcast and he, you know, movie crush, check it out. Chuck Bryant. Movie crush. Movie crush. Um, it's, uh, your favorite people, their favorite movies. Cool concept. But he, he was nervous for a while to even do some of the most, like, I don't even want to do, he didn't even want to touch star Wars. Really, it's just such a visceral fan base. I, I wouldn't touch Star Wars. Right, so you get it wrong, and they're like, they just eat you alive. Although I think the last three movies were the best ones. Yeah, definitely. I, really? I yeah, Kylo yeah. Ren, probably best character. Nah, I don't know. Yeah. Revenge of the Sith and... Dude, shut up, dude. Uh, I was just going to say, Phantom Menace, I think is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, what about... Uh, come on, dude, you got to attack the clones. Uh, the Clone Wars. Um, oh, fuck, see, I, a, I just got to too. Yeah. Was it the TV sh- the TV series, right? The Attack of the Clones, the uh, Are you talking about the animation one? Animated yeah, one, no, right? I didn't watch that. Jar Jar Binks, best character. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, that's the end of that conversation, yeah. for sure. But we, but Any we, critic will stand behind me. Oh, 100%. Yeah, well, it's like, that. that's the apple of my eye, is Jar Jar Binks, you know what I mean? Like, Ellie's great, but Jar Jar Binks, man, I'm telling you. The way he speaks the is way- great. Misa, love you. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no, I was I'm, thinking I, about I it, I was going. I couldn't speak that. That was that was fantastic. Authentically, you know. No, that was great. Oh, but he, yeah. Oh, we need to do your uh, Yoda, your Yoda voice. It's so bad. We'll do it later. We'll but, get there. But he insisted on us having a, a, a you know, like a intermission. Yeah. And so we we pulled out a phone, and I wonder if he still has it. We'll have to ask him. But we we recorded us like talking about, you know, the movie so far, like halfway through. Um, you know, I hadn't seen it, you know, and he was like, "We have to watch it legit," you know, halfway, mm-hmm. halfway. And um and we talked, we smoked cigars, we reviewed our cigars. Did he already see the movie? Yeah, okay. he had already seen it. It's true. Um, so it was me, first time for me, first time for Evans, first time for Holden, and so we all were just like fresh, fresh eyes on this movie, and it was just a really like crisp experience where like we all kind of came together and we're like, this is a really fun time, just reviewing cigars, 
reviewing a movie mm-hmm. and and just having fun while we did it. And gotcha. so that that's where the initial idea for the show came, came from. from. Thank you, Brett. Yeah, thank you, Brett. Thank you, Holden. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you guys. We'll get you a pack of Natty Light. Yep. And that's, a can of Copenhagen. Come on, some, some frat daddies out here. You know? <laughs> exactly. Come on, smack the can, man. That's what I'm saying. You got to pack that dip. Exactly. Yeah, I was never into dip. You were. Oh, I was. You were a dip man. Oh, you don't do it great. anymore, do you? No. No. Probably not in a year and a half. Because I got you some for your birthday. Dude, I'll still do it. I just don't do it normally. Yeah. Did you throw mine away? Wait, you. Oh, you did get me a pack. No, I'm pretty sure I dipped it. <laughs> in the trash <laughs> I, I mean it'd be better if i threw it away i guess but i'm yeah. pretty sure i dipped it okay good now good. did you do it enough that any effects happened like did you, i have a fr- i have a couple of friends that did it for a long time and then you like their gums literally start going away no i never had any problems with that honestly and i never had like problems necessarily putting it down either oh um, that's really good then like i guess i just went like a week and it was like oh do you go through the whole headache phase and such no, I never, I never did. Really? Wow. Maybe you're just mm-hmm. like some superhuman. I don't know. I'm built different. You have special powers. He's just like I'm special. Powers. He's like, I, well, that's the thing. You built up your tolerance over so long, so you just like you were dipping a ton. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, di- it was like I could either, I could do nothing, mm. or I could do nothing and dip. <laughs> Which is something. Dip. Yeah, I'll take the dip over <laughs> nothing. I remember yeah. when I was little in middle school, my coach, big freaking dude would always dip during the coach us and he'd always dip and he would put I'm not kidding like half the can in his one lip and at the end of the that game was my brother really uh, yeah at the end of the game horseshoe of, is what you call that a horseshoe yeah because it's that like Harrison? this big yeah no hill 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 would just half the can like stick it there yep yeah so I mean, you still got the move you still got the move down oh yeah I never oh, understood never, how these people would it. do it and then they'd be like hitting the can like they do that whatever that flick thing is I could never figure that out what is that is that it yeah, that I've never understood how they. How... I mean, all the frat bros know how to do it. Is yeah. that is that dip? No, it's a beard balm. Oh, I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah, close. No, so he's got I, it handy. I don't dip anymore, guys. I don't, I don't dip, dip anymore. anymore. Also, just... here, let me give you a great example <laughs> yeah. with this. Dip I just can. carried around. I just need it on me. I'm a dapper Dan man. <laughs> no, I'm not addicted. I swear. I, I swear, guys. I swear. I swear. Honor, scouts honor. So you had a story that you mentioned right before, as we were taking the break, yeah, that you so wanted to one, mention. Which one was it? Is the middle school one. Oh my god! That that I I'm usually the butt end of all of mm. these these stories mm. because it's like I'm kind of an idiot. This one's such a good one. Yeah. Basically, we went to a a small charter middle school. Yeah. Fulton and it was Science Turkish. Academy. Yeah, Fulton Science Academy, and it was basically everybody there who like were teachers there and staff were Turkish. Yep. I think it was. Was it like a Turkish school or was no. it just majority Turkish? It was a lot people. of Turkish. Well, that's the thing is because we did it. That school was in quarters. I don't know if you remember that. So we did quarters uh, and you yeah. had to do a quarter of Turkish. It was required. So I, it was like the only word. The that Haba. Were, <laughs> Isn't that it? I don't know. The, oh, the no. literal only word I remember from that class was uh, good night. And any, any ideas on what that word means? Does that good mean morning. good morning? Good morning. Yes. <laughs> it means good morning. And I was like. Gosh dang, that's the only reason why I remembered yeah. it because it's like literally the opposite. But Wait, like, is it actually the opposite? Yes, good night means good morning. What the? Mm-hmm. I was saying as a joke. No, legit, straight up. That is so stupid. And now, granted, of course, somebody's going to be watching, look it up, and be like, no, you're an idiot. That's not true. Okay, look, this is middle school me. I made parallels. It could be wrong. Don't hold me to it. But no, I think we should hold you to everything. Everything that I've ever said. In middle school. Well, here's a great opportunity. Let's hold me to this story. So, this is in middle school. Yep, this was, uh, I don't remember exactly the context of how okay. it came about. Do you, want me Do you to... remember? Oh, then man. Then you take it. If yeah. you remember. I just remember the I remember the punchline okay, and yeah. the lead up. You can, you can say the punchline. So I I was a very gullible kid. Super gullible. Innocent, too. So I didn't know, mm. you know, anything under mm. the sun. Um, not that my, car- my parents were, like, sheltering me, but it was like, I just wasn't in the know on a lot of things. So apparently this year... I think, yeah, what was, year was that? Sixth or seventh grade? Miss, uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah. So uh, that year, whatever year that was, the the Super Bowl, one of the commercials was this like, uh, what was it? Like rack of ribs or something. <laughs> was it McDonald's McRib? Or something. It was some rib commercial. It was uh, probably Applebee's. Actually. Maybe Applebee's. Yeah, that, that might have been it. Right. And so it was like, you know, going over like, hey, our rack, you know, our rack is unreal. 
like a joke on uh, the see it's you'll coming together never a know bit. which direction it goes yeah and so like this is you know that's the whole commercial is like a play on the sexual end of it as well as like hey this is our rack yeah rack is unreal yeah so come eat it so i didn't know any of that i also didn't know the sexual side of it either which is like the actual point of the joke why do i feel like you like went up to like a middle school teacher and was like yo your rack is unreal <laughs> no way so no way no it's actually worse <laughs> <laughs> it'd be nice if that was it <laughs> so so what happened is there were a couple of guys and i'm not gonna of course i did what i did i fully own that but there were a couple of guys that were i don't want to say fault. bullies but they were really like they, they took advantage of the fact that i was you know not knowledgeable in this stuff and so I had, I had an extra dollar, and in the school we did carnations. So you could send carnations yeah, yeah, and a yeah. note to your whoever. And so you, <laughs> so you pay a dollar. Oh shoot! Now I caught it. So yeah. You, so there's so we had this teacher. Oh. Shout out to Miss Lily. Oh my God, Noah. How's it going? Um, I was in her class, and then I ended up not being in her class. I switched to another class, or I don't know, something happened. And maybe they had my schedule wrong. I can't mm-hmm. remember. And so Miss Lily was this new teacher at the school. Yeah. And she was, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say this lightly. Hot. She was. She's not light. She's not light. Oh. That's how we put it lightly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So right. to put it lightly, she's not light. Okay. Um, she's, oh, boy. Let's just this say is... the normal size door, like, you know, school doors are made for like wheelchairs to go into them, right? She had to turn. Yeah. Really? So it was a sideways to the door. So yeah, just put it that way. but like tried to hide it like a little bit, and there but were a f- there were a few of those teachers. You can't like, hide the course. side bod. Yeah, and so oh my gosh, so I wrote on the carnation at the request of one of these nice gentlemen um, that, that I was peers with. He was like, "Hey, dude, write a letter to Miss Lily saying your rack is unreal." <laughs> And was I'll, there any like in, like nope. inquisitive? Hey, what does that mean? <laughs> why well, are they Why are they laughing? The why do I so, do this? So with that, they gave me the explanation of oh, it's a Super Bowl commercial, and I was and like, showed oh, you. Yeah. oh wow, they like, got you good. Sense. Yeah, they did. Get you know that you. makes it's a total Super Bowl. Sense. That's... Yeah, I'm like totally innocuous. Mm-hmm. So I wrote it, and I was like, this is great. And of course, you don't think anything of it. Like you do it, and you honestly forget about it. And so Valentine's Day rolls around. You know, apparently, this was told to me by somebody else, but Miss Lily was going through some of the carnations, and of course, she sees her name pop up, and she's like, you know, she's new to the school, she's excited, like, this is great, and her face just drops. Oh. And I'm like, oh no. Like, see, thinking, it would have been nice if you had just walked up and said that to her, and it would have just been verbal. Right. But it was in writing. It was in writing. Like, <laughs> it, it was, was written bad. into stone. Yeah. And so, of course, I. I I didn't sign my name or anything on the card. Oh, so she didn't know. So she didn't know who it was from. Did, does she know to this day? Does she no, know? okay. So here's here's the kicker is I was, of course, like schools are not the best place to keep secrets. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's pretty known. Mm-hmm. And so I was going around like normal, not really thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, Miss Lily just comes up to me at my locker and she's like, Noah, do you know anything about this? Uh oh. And I'm like, no like a flat out <laughs> lie to this lady like no shame just like no i don't know anything about that oh poor and she was like Lily. do you know anything like are you sure like do you, have you heard anything i'm like no nah, i don't know anything yeah and she was like keep your ear to the ground like you know whatever and i'm like yeah for sure you're, you're my little scout you know you're i'm like scout. figure this out yeah okay for sure so track them down for me so then your late, tracking is unreal <laughs> so then later that yeah you're tracking yeah so later that day i get called into the the principal's office and they're like hey like we know you did this and of course like i'm like all right jigs up like you got me <laughs> jigs up <laughs> jigs up yeah ah you caught me jugs up sorry nah, you got me her rack's unreal <laughs> um it's true it's very large and um and so they were like all right um, that's a day of in-school suspension. I was like, whoa, dude, okay. I was, I admitted to it. I apologize. Like, can we just like, maybe like, it's not. the season of giving, right? It's like, come on, man. It's like the, February. It's love, baby. Just a little bit of love. And so they were like, yeah, in-school suspension for a day. And so I was like, well, shoot, that sucks. So I ended up going back to Miss Lily and apologizing and being like, I'm so sorry. Like that was really rude. I didn't know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Did she respond well, or was she like? I I think she probably just like 
you know, just ignored me. Mm. Another, but I did apologize, so I did my part. Yeah. Um, and then I had my in-school suspension day, and ironically, I got ahead of all my work because I am a very diligent worker. Wow. So that's the whole story. So you got tricked into that, though. I because well, you were naive. I yeah, I've had the yeah. Same. I don't want to. I don't want to blame it on that 100. percent Like I, I definitely wrote it. And I assume did it, I, 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 told you the whole story about me going to that hibachi restaurant and the wench thing. No, oh, no, no. Okay, this yeah. sounds like an interesting story. Oh, wow. I, how <laughs> I some popcorn now? Red this night is going like, down. This is like one of the like my one of my stories that I've like the same thing. I think back and like I was just a, I was an idiot. I was just being naive. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know any better. But what I said was stupid. I mean, per usual. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't know. I don't, I, so That's the thing. As I'm nervous because that story that I just told, I I I'm nervous that I might. I, I'm smarter today for sure, but uh-huh. I'm like, oh gosh, like yeah, I'm pretty gullible still. Oh, same. I am too. I can roll with it a little bit better, but I'm like, oh shit, like. Well, I don't. I don't necessarily feel like I'm as gullible as I used to be, but I still feel like I'm as naive as I used to be. Yeah. Like right. I haven't like, common sense is just out there. There's none. Did you just toot on the podcast? Yeah, exactly. That was not my mouth or anything, for <laughs> hey, sure. Hey, for those of you that don't know, we have a YouTube channel. Check it out. Yeah, you should be watching right now. But basically, long story short, me and my me and my best friend go to this hibachi restaurant. Yeah. And of course, you know, I mean, hibachi. There's gonna be you have Asian servers. I mean, that's just how it is. Anyway, well, I mean, and, and she has an and she has an accent. Yeah. yeah. And she yeah. yeah exactly. And she has an accent, of course. And so they're going around the table, and you know how at hibachi you always get a salad before. Like yeah, they, sure. are, they and they ask ask you, do you want ginger or ranch as your dressing, right? Yeah, they do it in stages. Exactly. So she's going around, and I don't like either of these. I don't like ranch, and I don't like ginger. So mm-hmm. like, I usually give my salad to whoever I'm with. I'm like, hey, which one do you want? But she was going around the table, and she was saying ginger or wench. <laughs> okay, but so here's the thing. She's going around saying ginger or wench. And so process of elimination in my head, I didn't know she was meaning ranch. Right. So in my head, I'm thinking, I know I don't like ginger. I'm going to try wench. So she gets to me and she's like, would you like ginger or wench? And I repeated back to her. I was like, I would like wench, please. <laughs> she looked at me for a second. I didn't really catch it. She wrote it down, walked away. My friend, the second I said it, my friend sitting there like dying because he got ginger. So I didn't hear him say ranch. And he's sitting there dying. She walks away. He hits me he's like, you don't eat your food, bro. They're going to spit in it. You're dead. Like, yeah, she's spitting in that way. You're like, you are still. I was like, what? She's like, he, she was saying ranch, you idiot. I was like. I'm oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I screwed up. Because I didn't mean it in a bad way. I just, oh, I was like, yeah, I didn't know rough. she mean a ranch. I don't like ginger. So I was like, all right, so today we're trying wench. It's the house, oh, it's yeah. the house sauce. It's I the- mean, I think, I think we've all been there. Like yeah. uh, having a yeah, waitress but this is with one, an I was, or a waiter. I mean, I was what, like 20, 20 something years old. I should have known better. Like I should be somewhat experienced that I go out. It oh, should... so this was recent. Oh yeah. This, this is within like a year or two. Honestly, I was thinking you were a kid. <laughs> No, this, no, this is, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. This, this wasn't like, oh, I was a little cute kid. This was me like a year or two ago. You started the story, me and my friend, you know, as kids. No, I didn't say kids. Did he I not? Don't ever, I don't. I, don't, I, I guess thought, we could. I thought we could, you we could play it back and check. Maybe because we check were all. It, check yeah, it. yeah. Maybe because we were all talking about check, our check, childhood check. days. No, this was like I'm 20, 21 years old. Oh my god. And that's what makes it <laughs> even like it, it makes it look like I was being a freaking a hole. Like yeah. I was. That's awesome. Yeah. And, mm, that that's my lovely story. Yeah. yeah what was the app? Did yeah. you just did you eat or did you? you oh, didn't you, leave, right? No, I didn't leave. Oh, okay. I, I I sat there. I like I just took it and. <laughs> I didn't eat you the salad. I didn't eat the it, salad. Yeah. yeah, and thank God it's a bocce. I can sit there and watch them make my food, and I didn't see nobody go or like spit in it or nothing. So yeah. I was like, because what I said, I mean, if they took it the wrong way, they thought maybe I was being like racist or you know, I wasn't. I was just naive. I was just I just heard it. I just stupid things. I do so the yeah. shit I said. You weren't racist. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, you went there. <laughs> Wow. Oh man, that is good. Well, I mean, we all have stories of like putting our feet in our mouths. So that's that's one. Oh, that's my big. That, that's that's probably mouth? my. That's good. That's foot in your mouth. Foot in yeah, your I mouth. guess I've yeah. never heard feet in my mouth. Yeah, plural. Well, I, I do it. I do it multiple times, so I have to add the extra foot. Yeah. So feet. Um. So that was mine. I guess I didn't really put my foot in my mouth. Like, you just. Well, I I did it in writing. You got. You were gullible. But you didn't know what you were saying. Yeah. So, like, you were being naive. Like, I was. I didn't know what I was saying. Yeah. I just wench. Do you, do, you <laughs> have, do you have a good, like, foot in your mouth? Like, I'm trying to rack my brain to think Like, sit back. back and think, like, you went up to a girl and maybe you're like, 
oh yo you looking like at the gym you looking big today and she's like what did you say oh like, that's, some, that's, some, that's something dumb that, that's something guys don't think about is like you can't oh, compliment yeah. it is girls. so tricky to talk yeah. to a girl about anything weight wise you can't even say like oh wow like you look like you've lost a lot of weight. No. Oh, wow. I was fat before? Like, no. Nope. Come no. on. You're doing, hey, you're doing a lot of weight today. It's yeah. Like, what, what, am I, am I looking big? Am I looking, yeah, am I looking muscular? Do I need, no, no, no. Uh, is, uh, I just mean, the good one, you look great today. That's it. What, yep. I didn't look great yesterday? Oh. Mm hmm. Then I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> you are looking amazing as you are. Is my rights to remain silent? Yeah. And then the cops come out and it's like, listen, bud, uh, I want to not take you away, but. You leave us no choice. Yeah, yeah the PC. Please. She's offended. Oh. Gym intimidation. Yeah. I don't know if I've said anything, but maybe on the same track, I have opened the door for a lady in mm -hmm. college who then, after walking through the door, was like, how dare you hold the door open for me? Oh, dude. Oh, what? chivalry's dead Literally. kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. I think, I think y'all talked about it in another podcast. Yeah, we have. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of anyone where, like, a story where I might have put my foot in my mouth. But. Well, okay. So, I'll make up for you. I got one more that my friend oh, no. my, my friend did, and, and it was more so it almost got me in huge trouble. Okay. Let's, let's just, yeah. This is a good one. I, I want to hear this. Real quick. So, of course, we always talk about exes. Got to bring it up. I was dating Lexi at the time. Okay. And anyway, me, Lexi, and uh, my friend Matt were at Lexi's place. She has a pool in her backyard. So we were like, okay, let's just have a pool day. So anyway. Yeah, right, you, you want a pool day? Sexy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yep. Okay. There, hot, 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 hot tamale. <laughs> nice little pitch and home run right there. Um, but we come inside and, of course, you know, we, we got to change out of our swimsuit because we were going to watch a movie or just, like, hang out. And so, like, there, there's no parents home. There's no one else home. And, you know, we weren't thinking to take advantage of that because, you know, we had my friend over as well We're like you know nothing so yeah, tell him to beat it exactly like 10 minutes exactly or and no, so three well maybe you stay 30, 30, 30 seconds uh, yeah maybe maybe that maybe but um so like there's a bathroom on the main level and so we we're like, okay, Matt, just go change there. There's a bathroom upstairs and Lexi's room's upstairs. So I was like, okay, I'll go upstairs, change the bathroom upstairs. Lexi will change in her room. Matt, my friend Matt will change on the bathroom on the main floor. And so he finished like he gets changed quick. He comes out and Lexi's mom comes home. And of course, like I'm still upstairs and I'm changing. And so she comes home and she sees Matt on the couch and she's like, where's Lexi and Mitchell? And he just says, oh, they're upstairs changing. Oh, no. Immediately. Oh, he you under the bus. Immediately. <laughs> he didn't even go like, oh, you know what? I don't know. No, nope. he's like, let me go oh, check. They're up, oh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're upstairs up. changing. We just got done swimming immediately i just hear footsteps coming up the stairs and like she barges into lexi's room i'm in the bathroom and uh in she's her like, bathroom yeah i'm in i'm in lexi's oh. bathroom which oh no 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 they're not they don't, they're not in the same place oh okay, okay yeah yeah no it's like the upstairs bathroom oh so it's a rich people house i guess i thought rich people have their own bathroom in their but no it's like it's like it's so it's a bathroom so you gotta separate it kind of thing oh then i'm rich shit <laughs> yeah <I was laughs> thanks saying, for letting wait, me know no, it's the, out, the richer you are the further away your bathroom is from oh you gotta walk everything ah, yeah. like gotcha. an outside shower yeah. okay like, so she like, was yeah. somewhat rich because it was across the hall okay okay but so like, outside toilet you're poor uh true, but outside like shower outhouse. you're rich exactly okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but Makes anyway sense. he immediately after he said that i mean you know you were, he, he told me about i was like yo lexi's mom came upstairs like pissed like, did she? Because I went downstairs while she was in that room talking to her mom. Oh I was no! Like, like did, well, did she then, seem mad? Because then at that point it looks like you evaded. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Oh no! Exactly. He it, literally threw you under the bus. It would have been better if she had like barged in. All right, we can we can decide whether or not to edit this out. I did not change in that bathroom. Come on. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, I guess we were prime. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, I, I was not, yeah, I was not changing in the separate bathroom. Uh, we heard the mom come home. The dog started barking. I immediately ran to the fuck, the bathroom. And I just, <laughs> I got there in the nick of time. Yeah, so, I mean. Oh, my but, God. Hey, but, hey, for the record, you, you know, were I don't in the other think, bathroom. I, yeah, on, I don't, on record, other bathroom. Off record. I don't even care. You know what? Leave it in. That's oh, not that, <laughs> Long story short, I was actually in that ba bedroom. Yes, whatever. I'm, we're high schoolers, college kids, or whatever. And I hear the mom come home, and I bolt. I freak out. Like, my balls drop. I'm like, ah, out. Got in the bathroom as she's coming up the stairs. And I guess she didn't see me, like, in that bathroom. Oh, but, that's so funny. You, but you I, I questioned, why did she run up so fast? Why was she pissed when she went in there? And I went down. I was like, yo, like, 
that was so close. You have no idea. And he's like, yeah, I kind of probably didn't help that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did he say? He saw the raw, well, he saw the problem in what he said. Yep, right? the second he said it and she ran up, he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's, okay. I guess you learn. That, that I'm just going to be completely honest, is a perfect story to end this on. But before we end, I just have to say that you started that story. And I, I don't know if you thought this too, but you, you, you started it not wanting to admit that you were 100% yeah, in that no. room. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Because I, I, in the back of my mind, I was sitting there like, hmm, if her dad would ever see this, he might come and find me and kill me. Well, okay, here's the thing. You dated for five well, you're, years. You're yes. So. so, like, what, it, I mean, you know. She, oh, and if, if you're hinting at what I think you're hinting at, she straight up told her parents. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's not yeah. like, uh, you know. Which I, mean, I wasn't appreciative at all. I was like, why would you tell your parents that? Now, every time I walk into this house, they, they just know. That you guys, sure, whatever you, wherever she, your okay, mind goes, wherever your mind goes. Okay, that confuses the crap out of me. But we're gonna have to unpack that and other close call situations mm -hmm. in another show. We yeah, we need to do the episode unpack that whole entire thing because yeah. there we keep referencing it. It just needs to be. Yeah, I, I have about. a I have a bunch of close call situations, and we can just put it all on the table, like fully, like admit to. You want to know what might be crazy, and I'd be willing to take the punch for this. Just because I think a lot of people would listen and view if they that we have any fans, if she came on and we had that conversation, no that way, would be the craziest thing. That'd be nuts, dude. Because I haven't, I have not seen her since before we broke up. Because we, I, broke, I love Lexi. I think Lexi's great. Uh, she's a, I think she's a great person as well. That we just had our differences and things ended not on the greatest oh terms. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in to today's show. We've got a lot coming up on the horizon, yeah. as you got from the end of this show. So I might have just put my foot in my own mouth there. Jeez. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can get that to happen. <laughs> um, but we're definitely going to do an episode in the future about close call situations. Um, you just got a teaser of one right there. I've got a couple. I'm sure you have more. I don't. We'll definitely have Evans back on. Thank you for coming on. Oh, absolutely. But we will see you next time on the Man Card Podcast. Peace. Yeah, say some. Yeah, say some. Say some. Say a sayonara. Bye. Lexi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See you.